So I thought I would just talk this through a little bit. Uh, you can see my hand going over areas of my painting as I cover areas up to see what I wanted to do. And I'll even use some of my tools to cover up areas, whether it's to cover them or see if I like the color there. I use a paintbrush to apply the paint, but I soon decided that I wanted to switch tools just to help my brain sort of open up to different possibilities. So I used a palette knife and I don't normally use the palette knife. I think that's why this was so much fun for me because it was something new and I was discovering that the paint was going on really thick, which was, you know, both a delight and a concern because then I knew I was covering up layers. But you can see then that I'll soon scratch into it and I like that effect. And again, while the paint's wet, the possibilities are endless. Even afterwards, I suppose sanding is a possibility. So um, this part here, I took some paint that was too light for my liking and then I changed to a darker, which became a little bit too sweet and a little orangey. So then I added some more rose color in there, which started to feel more like it was harmonious with the colors that I had in there. And yet none of this is a mistake because my mind is searching. And so I was um, putting paint down, but also exploring shape, color, how much I wanted to cover, what kind of textures, cognizant that I didn't want to lose a lot of what was underneath, which is why I took this color scraper and started moving paint around. And uh, you see, I try a lot of different things, uh, wondering do I like what's happening here, some of the shapes that I was creating, and I'll just keep searching until I can find something that feels good. I'll clean off some of the smeared paint if I want to make sure that I can keep some of the integrity of the color from previously. But really, all I'm doing is trying things out. I didn't know what I was going to do. I mean, obviously, I've got paint on the palette that I'm going to work with, but I'll add stuff that's not been there, colors that I haven't uh, laid out. Just when an idea comes, I'll try it, like that paper. I uh, use that to lighten up some of the paint, but then I wanted to add some of the op opaque paint back. But now I've got some neat shadows of what was there before. Hints of the past. You'll see my hand pointing in certain areas that I think I might want to look at or work on. And um, that's sort of the way that I, you know, quietly talk to myself when I point at things. I also sort of try to clear the sides of the painting the edges off the sides, uh, get some of the leftover paint or spilled paint or smeared paint off the edges. And here, this part of the video I added after I shut the video off and then I put it back on because I wanted to add this line for some reason that needed to happen for me. And, um, you know, I'll just look at the piece. The paint's still wet. Uh, you know, it's not a finished piece by on any stretch, but I, it gives me a chance to look at it and decide what do you want to do next. Uh, in this piece, I did take some cloth to clear up some edges of smeared paint that I didn't feel was helping the work, and I wanted to do that while the paint was wet. But I also will step back and just sort of look and see, do I like what's happening? Is there anything that I want to remove? Uh, in the past, I would sort of panic and take more off, and but now I've learned to trust the things that I do and give myself time to sit with what I've done because I'm, I'm probably going to add more paint onto it. So letting it be is, is just as important as making decisions about removing uh, paint or editing a painting. So um, I think that's about all I wanted to share. Uh, I just thought I would uh, add that here so that you had another layer of uh, information and context. I hope you found this helpful and that you enjoyed a little bit of watching process.